West Ham obviously are uh, your closest rivals in the top four, they're only four points behind you. That makes this a particularly big game, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, it's a very important game. Uh, and, and we'll look forward to that. They uh, they beat us well earlier on in the season. We uh, we come off the back of a, a really good result against Man City, and then we uh, we get put in our place that week that weekend where we weren't so good, and, and they were very good. So, uh, but we're very very concentrated and very focused. We, we know the qualities. We know they're very very good in in counter attack. Um, Mikel Antonio is like a counter attack on his own. He's just unbelievable how. He, how he's been playing and it to the level, and obviously Jesse Lingard is a top class player. He's a he's a he's a high level player uh, that we've seen over a number of years. It's just maybe just dropped off his level for whatever reason. Um, but uh, but you can see since he's gone to West Ham, you see the 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 quality he has, the ability he has, and uh, so he's a, he'll be a big threat. So um, but it should be a fantastic game, and we'll look forward to that. And just following on from Rob, West Ham up on Sunday, they've been a team that have surprised everyone this season. What do you think is behind the magic that David Moyes has created for the team? Well, firstly, I think he's uh, David's done a great job. In um, he obviously came in through throughout the season last season, so he's having to find out about the players again and some new players. Um, we'll have had a pre-season short had the chance to work with him, know exactly what it is he wants and then been able to bring players in and uh, he's moulded them into a very tough team to beat, very organised. Uh, so his organisational skills, his his experience and quality as a manager, uh, first and foremost. And then always alongside that, you need good players and uh, and they've got some outstanding players. It's unfortunate that Declan is out because he's... Uh, He's a top-class player, um, but you look throughout the team, you know, from the goalkeeper Fabianski, good experience of the level. Um, the defenders are strong; they defend well. Cresswell's got quality. Um, so far on the side, he's been great since he's come in. Um, and then, like I say, you get the experience and the qualities of Mark Noble in there, who's who works very well. And and like I say, Lingard and. Uh, and Mikel Antonio have, have really uh, combined very, very well. Put on the sides, Fornals, who's who, who's a talent, along with Bone, who's done great since he's come in for the championship. Then you can see throughout the team, they're uh, the team that play very well, and uh, they've been consistent. So, uh, so yeah, it's it's not so much as a surprise because of David's qualities as a manager and the players that they have. But of course, maybe from from people outside of the game, they would maybe see it as a surprise. Mm. How big's the game, Brendan? Spoke as you know in our job. It's been to an awful lot of Leicester fans, and there's nerves because of the gap. And uh, without saying the proverbial six points, which is a cliche that's banned, um, but you know a lot of people are concerned about that gap. They've got the second best home record in the league. You've got the second best away record in the league. It's set up beautifully, but it seems West Ham have got everything to gain, and you've got everything to lose. Well, not really. You know, even if we lost the game, we're still ahead. So uh, and then we're obviously we're counting the games down, but of course it's a game you want to go in and win. I think that's been our attitude in, in most games, um, and and our plan we we plan to go in and, and look to win the game. So uh, so we don't worry. I think it was there was a a game we played. I think it was Sheffield United, and we were asked before the game, is it a must win game? I suppose and. I said at that time, well, well, not really. If we lose it and we win all the others, then it doesn't really matter. So, um, but we go into this game with the attitude to to win, and we'll give our best. And it's something that I'm comfortable with in terms of how we'll respond. You know, we've always responded if we've lost a game, and defeat is something that you have to consider will happen. But if it doesn't, you know, you're giving everything that you can to win. And uh, if we lose for whatever reason, then uh, we're still ahead in a good position. So uh, lots to play for still, many games, and none more important than the next one.